Back just in time. Another six-man series. Pro lobbies. We got Justin, first killer in Gyro, versus the A team, Atomic, Arsenal, and Aqua. No way everyone has an agent. Rizzo talked about it a bit and said two top four teams from EU and NA make good money that would constitute a manager. Interesting. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I could I could understand that too. I could definitely believe that angle. Yeah, I'm going to say that's probably still a bucket. First killer can stop the bleeding, but not long. You would love to see First Killer, Justin, and Daniel together. That would be fun. Teams are wrong. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Appreciate that. Swapped. Most pros have an agent. I love informed chatters. I'm going to be honest. Just hits so much harder than the random chatter who tells us one thing or another thing. Uh, good to hear. I believe I believe it. I believe Bella would have an insight to that. First and Justin shouldn't be allowed on the same team. How have they gone tonight, chat? What do you guys think? Uh, have the have the lobbies all went how everyone would have expected? The first one did. The first one was the only pretty heavily favored one, I would say, where chat was like, sure that G2 plus first killer should win. Um, but the previous lobby of Aqua, Justin, Gyro, that team beat Atomic, first killer, Drees. I don't know. That that seems pretty fair. I think chat maybe probably could have even picked first killer and Atomic and Drees. So that one may be a bit of a surprise. The one before that, Reddles Justin first killer, and that team did win. So, but Dries at Chicago Atomic is another good team. They're just good teams, man. Other than the first one, I feel like neither team has been super obviously favored. Which is nice because they always do random but i think it's just because the lobby is so stacked lobby is stacked enough that it's really really hard to not get good teams from random does anyone know if they're in comps they're definitely in comps they're all in this same discord Mom likes random chatter insights. Cool, dude. That's good. Now, random chatter insights are fun. You were spectating showed when ball cam is off. Yeah, dude. Watching ones in uh, watching ones not in player view is like impossible. Oh, I thought I was skipping, but I must not be. That was cringe. Watch the whole replay. Um, but watching. Watching ones without it is like so, so bad. It's crazy to think that we're just so used to it in threes for the most part. You have a hot take. RL is fun sometimes. True. I got to play it recently. I got to do my twos placements and I was like, man, this game's kind of fun. What time does Cloud9 play? They're, they're up next, man. Cloud9's queuing into this ranked lobby next. Or not this ranked lobby, the six mans. I think the exclamation point rank mans don't work anymore. Oh wait, no, we have, we got the joke command. I'm Grand Champ. Grand Champ one. <laughs> you are pro. According to the ball chasing, I am a pro. Yes. Nightbot. Nightbot's actually kind of a sick name too. I feel like Nightbot, unfortunately, you know, you're not going to be able to get your Twitch account, but it's a good name. 
You're the top 100 player. I heard you heard correctly. Top 100 when I grinded on Switch. I was a top 100 Switch 2's player. So you better believe I instantly threw top 100 in my Twitter bio. Hasn't ever left. And threw it in my Steam bio. It's in every possible bio I can throw it in. I hit everyone up with the LFT top 100 only. How can Team Queso just give up the best looking team? They didn't. That's that's it. That's the secret. They didn't. Somebody paid them for that for that team. Team Queso were already uh, in over their heads in terms of I, I imagine what they offered those guys at the time that they signed them was not to the level that their team is now. So I think they knew that the time was coming. I bet you they knew that they couldn't afford to pay what they were worth anymore. I bet you they were happily ready to hand over the reins to a team willing to throw some cash at them. And so that's why I'll say I'll announce it now. Fear Clan. They're joining Fear Clan, chat. I I can't hold it in anymore. Queso, they've been picked up by Fear Clan. And I paying them handsomely, trust me. More than worth it. Do full buyouts happen often? Uh, yeah. I want to say I've I've heard of that pretty pretty frequently. Of just like pure full buyouts. Oh, what the heck? Everybody's in this lobby but me, I think. Here I am. Can you be a content creator? You want to be a content creator for Fear Clan? Uh, yeah, you just have to send us the monthly subscription fee. And then you can call yourself a content creator for Fear Clan. That's how it works. Tier 3 sub every month. And you can go around saying you're, you're a Fear Clan content creator. All I'm saying is they probably communicated to Team Queso that they wanted to leave. Uh, I'm sure somebody came with an offer they couldn't refuse. And I bet you it was... I, I guess I don't know. This is all speculation. But I would think that somebody came with an offer that neither the players nor the org could refuse. And nobody was upset about it. And everybody understood. Like, yeah, you got to take this offer. Of course you do. You know? I, 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 that's how I imagine it went down. Not actually knowing. I doubt it was like the players being like, we want to leave and the org being like, oh, please don't. You know, I, I think people are self-aware, probably. I don't know. Let's just be speculating. Were the Queso players saying their coach just had bad vibes or is that another team? I, I don't know. I didn't ever see that from any of the players. I have read tons of speculation uh, until I read a message from the players saying something, it will continue to be speculation. Game series score? Oh, yes. The uh, first killer's team won, right? The A team did not win. Is that correct? Dupo has been peaking this regional. That's what I heard. Garrichi, he told us dog shit try while shaking hands. Wait, what? First off, is that the actual Gary G? It doesn't have a partner badge. And I'm trying to understand what the fake letter is if it's not. Oh, you're saying, you're saying Nick did. Nick said that. Wait, no way. No way. The coach said dog shit try to the other team. Dude, when shaking hands, that is, that's yikes, man. I don't know. 
I think that's yikes from a player. I think players can can trash talk a little bit uh, if they want to. <laughs> a team is forfeiting again. Um, but dude, coaches are shouldn't be doing that at all. If you ask me. Dude, imagine walking up to Garrett G and saying, dog shit try. I mean, Garrett G's asking for it. Honestly. <laughs> oh, I see. He didn't say it to you. <laughs> okay. So it's all, it is, it does feel worse, but like, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think coaches should be trash talking. I'll take that stance. Coaches should be like the pretty solemn voices, steady hand, um, neutral, emotional state, keeping everybody together, you know? Which is funny because I actually would have said, I feel like I saw evidence from the outside that that was what he was like, but I mean, <laughs> obviously we don't get all the insight. Yeah, I don't know. NRG also doesn't seem like a team that's like asking for it either. Not that, you know, that means anything. A team asking to be told dog should try after they had just been eliminated. Like that's, I don't know. As soon as, soon as like a team's eliminated, it's, that's, it's over. It's just like, all right, love. We're all playing the same game. There's no competition between us anymore, unfortunately, for the losing team. Sizz versus Nick 1v1. Rise says something on stream about how Nick pissed a lot of people off. I I think it was interesting. If you guys watched the esports awards, the esports awards had like what I would just say is a pretty accurate take with coaching and Rocket League, which is just like, who knows? Us on the outside, like how do you, how do you even judge a coach? Because it's not like other sports where you could see on the field the kind of like play calling or mix ups or like matchups on defenders, like lots of stuff, lots of really easy to understand stuff. Okay, the A team got absolutely just wallop, dude. <laughs> we're talking, we're talking about good lobbies. This one didn't work out that way. The A team just got absolutely crushed. But anyways, in conclusion, hard to understand what coaches are doing. Um, so there's really no insight at all. Like none of us could have said what Queso's coach was like. I mean, what I, I are the coaches doing a ton? Like I'm, I'm honestly 